Hello coders, Synthetic Programming here with another video for you guys today and today we are going to be making a prime number finder. So this program is going to take two numbers A and B and it's going to find all the prime numbers that are between A and B. So let's get started today guys. Uh, after we create the file that actually determines the prime numbers we're also going to add a little function at the end that creates an output file. So let's start by creating a Python file called main and for this project we're going to need two imports. We're going to need something from math. From math we're going to import sqrt which is like a square root function and from iter tools oh, from let's do iter tools like that. From iter tools we are going to import count and we are going to import I slice like this like that perfect okay awesome so now that we've done our imports we're gonna start writing our first function and our first function is gonna be a prime test so this is gonna test whether or not the number is prime so we're gonna do uh, define prime test like this and prime test is gonna take in a number n like that and we're just gonna say uh, for our little comment here we're going to say that uh, determines if n is prime, right? So if n is prime, this function will return true. Uh, if it's not prime, it'll return false. So let's start writing this. So the first thing to do is say if n is less than 2, return false, because we know that there are no prime numbers that are less than two. Um, you know, zero is not a prime number, one's not a prime number, none of the negative numbers are prime numbers, arguably. So uh, we're gonna say if anything is less than two, return false. Then we say uh, for number in i slice, with one of our imports, i slice count two, like that, uh, int, like that, and then we're gonna do the square root of n minus one, like that. Um, so for this little, for this thing, so for number in i slice count two, uh, int of square root n minus one. So for this little, this little creation here, we're gonna say if not n modulus number, like that, right? Uh, return false like that and then we will say uh, outside of this uh, return true so you can kind of see intuitively here what happens so it takes an n it says if it's less than two it's not a prime number then it creates this list and says if those numbers right if if the number n uh, is not divisible by any of these numbers then um, or sorry, if it is divisible by these numbers, return false, right? And uh, then towards the end of that, after it passes these tests, it returns true, okay? So now that we've done that, we can create our next function. And this is gonna be the function that we run. And so this is gonna say, uh, we're gonna define find prime, like that. And uh, prime find prime is not gonna take a variable. We're just gonna, Put our little note here that says finds all primes between a and b and writes them to a file okay so uh, let's start by getting our inputs and so well actually because you guys know me and my programming uh, i always like these equal signs so let's put some equal signs just like that perfect and then we can actually just take that, copy it, and we'll write all our code between these two equal signs. Okay, so uh, it's not necessary, but I think it looks pretty. So now let's get our import, uh, sorry, our inputs from the user. So A is going to be equal to the input. Uh, actually, not only is it equal to the input, the int of the input. Um, enter the first number, like that. That. perfect and uh, after that we are going to do b is equal to the int of the input like that um, enter 
the second number just like that perfect and then after that we are going to say that output is equal to the input um, let's see enter the name for the output file just like that perfect okay so now that we've done that here let's add a couple more uh, of these here equal signs um, okay cool so now we have our imports or sorry our inputs our imports are up here uh, but we have our inputs and so now we can actually start working so the next thing to do is to say that uh, we're working so print okay uh, working with some dots and uh, and now we can actually start working so uh, we're gonna start a list called primes list it's going to be equal to a list object just like that and uh, now we're going to say that for here we can put a little enter here for I in range a to B plus one because we want to include B uh, okay so for I in range a to B plus one if um, prime test oh, prime test like that if prime test I so if that's true then we're going to append this to the list so we're gonna say um, primes primes list dot append and we're going to append the string of I right plus a new line character backslash n so we're going to attach a string of the number itself and then a new line so that each number is on a new line we're gonna say else if it's not a prime then just continue we don't care just pass it right right by um, and so now that actually is our entire uh, working loop right there so now we can write our output writing little section here so what we're gonna say is with open right with open output the name of that file the output file that we gave it uh, with open output um, in write mode so W as O for output um, we can write that for item in primes list uh, O dot write item just like that then we can say O dot close perfect and uh, after that is done program is done so we can print like that we can print done with an exclamation point uh, created file and then we can actually just add output the name of the file so it was like done created file and then the name of the file that it created so why don't we give this a shot this should all be working perfectly um, so now we just have to give it a little run now for some reason my pie charm is acting up and let me see if I can just run the program main yeah I just want to run main perfect there we go okay so we're gonna run it and oh we did not call our our function here so let's just write find prime like that perfect okay that should work now so we run that again and let's drag it up so we can see what's running okay so it says enter the first number so let's do all of the primes from 0 to 10,000 so we're gonna do the first number is 0 the last number is 10,000 so all the primes from 0 all the way up to 10,000 and we're gonna print them to a file called zero to ten thousand dot txt um, and let's run it there we go working done very quickly and uh, if we look at this file here this is all of the prime numbers between zero and ten thousand and we can actually go all the way down to the bottom and see that there are one thousand two hundred and twenty nine primes between zero and ten thousand and you saw how quickly that completed because 
uh, it's actually a pretty fast pretty fast algorithm so this is a pretty like quick program um, we can actually run it again and do something a little bit crazier we can say okay now we're going to do zero to one million right so we'll do zero to a million we'll call it zero to one million dot txt so that's working it's working away this is going to take a little bit longer because remember we are now doing uh not ten thousand but a hundred times ten thousand so uh here we go let's see it worked and look at that look at all of the prime numbers between zero and a million how many are there 78,498 primes so the program works perfectly um, thank you guys so much for watching all of this code is going to be on github link in the description so you can just download the project uh, check it out there if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments check out our website syntheticprogramming.com and uh, thank you to all of our patrons on patreon we've got two of you guys so thank you so much and uh, as always I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.